it's not revolutionary to say that mankind isn't always right. I actually think that's more common sense than anything else. But it's one thing to make a wrong choice when the right answer is clear, like right there in front of you. And it's another when it's hard to determine what the right answer actually is. This hits me pretty close to home. So in my neighborhood, there's this giant tree. And the homeowner, who I don't know, put up a Halloween decoration. It was a mannequin in a plaid shirt, jeans, some dress shoes, and it had a noose around its neck. There was no head, though, just a black hood. I drove by the decoration a lot. It's by the main road, so I was, I'm a frequenter of that street. And it was clearly a decoration, but it did seem a little off. Like, just a little too creepy for this kind of residential neighborhood where I live. Though, to be fair, other people put up scary stuff. Like, someone had a cemetery in their yard, and there's all these stuffed jeans that make it look like someone's being buried alive or coming out of the grave. This hanging man, though, was different in that all of a sudden the news started showing up because one woman wrote a Facebook post about it. She thought it should be taken down because it was offensive to people of color. This woman was white, but according to the Desert News, she has a black son. Um, but she wasn't the only one that had a problem with it. The mayor actually got a lot of complaints, and he issued an official statement for this guy to take the decoration down. But the thing is, it wasn't illegal for him to hang this up. It was private property, so there wasn't anything the mayor could actually do. On Nextdoor, which is the social app that people in the neighborhood can use to communicate with each other, the homeowner, the person who hung the decoration, says that there's no racial motivation, he just meant to have fun. He put a Halloween mask on it, which made it look less like a real person and more like a Halloween decoration, but he didn't take it down. Since Halloween has come and gone, most people have forgotten about this, uh, but I haven't, and I still think about it from time to time. I don't think that the man who put up the decoration meant any harm politically or otherwise, but what I can't decide is if the outrage was warranted. I mean, there's a chance that this was just a case of oversensitivity. This could have been perceived as some sort of racial message, probably more likely uh, ignorance or even a microaggression. And to be honest, this isn't something I think I'd hang up in my yard. On the other hand, though, it didn't look like a person. This guy stated his intentions. And black hoods are normally used for prisoner executions, I believe, not lynchings. He also put it up in time for Halloween, took it down after it was over. It's not like he kept it up forever. And to me, this isn't something that's more violent than something I've seen on TV or the internet or in video games. I mostly wonder why the guy just didn't take it down. Maybe taking it down would have been like admitting that there was an agenda he was going for. Maybe he wanted to take a stance against oversensitivity in the name of fun and private property. Or maybe he just didn't want to. I think that the scariest part isn't the decoration or whatever reason he put up the decoration for. I think it's that there wasn't a clear right or wrong answer. Should we have done something or should we have done nothing? I guess this whole thing is just a part of being human. Sometimes we're right, sometimes we're wrong, sometimes we're both, and sometimes we're neither. <laughs>